I want to say um, we're back. Um, another episode of uh, Good Vibes TV. Um, I'm your host, DJ PRS1, Ramon, we call him Moan, and we have Matt, Mr. Vanya, we call him Matt. Um, today we got a special guest in store for you guys. Um, actor, local actor uh, here from, you know, in Baltimore. Um, kind of personal friend of, um, you know, at least the two of us, um, Ramon kind of knows him as well. Um, but, um, you know, we got a little show, nice show in, 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 you know, in store for you guys today. So, with all of that, welcome to Good Vibes TV. So, we're going to be bringing on actor and radio personality, Lamar Elliott. Hello, people. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, TV welcome, world. Welcome, How's sir. it going? How's, How's it going? How you been? How's everybody? How you been, man? I go, sir. What's your major name, man? Uh, apple cider. <laughs> Okay. Makeup. Oh, never mind. There you go. We can go ahead. I got water. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna welcome Mr. Elliot to the show. How's everybody doing out there? All right. So we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna start off with talking about his career and what he's been doing. So we're gonna um, ask him a couple of questions about where he's going in his life and what journey he's taken. So um, you can tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, for those that don't know me, um, my name is Lamont Elliot. I'm originally from Baltimore, Maryland, but I was born in Atlantic City, New Jersey. I moved here when I was about eight years old and been back and forth ever since. Um, I actually went to a couple of public schools here in Baltimore, but didn't finish. I actually graduated in D.C. And um, from there, I moved to uh, back to Jersey for a little bit, came back to Baltimore and started working at Hopkins um, doing security. So uh, for about four, five, six years. Um, and then I moved on to get my gun permit. Was working, still working with the government um, right. Right. on. So make a long story short, um, I got into acting. I was doing side jobs, um, working at clubs. So I was doing armed security at clubs. Um, it was a club called Sugar Ray's. Um, I would work every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. About maybe two to four hundred dollars for like maybe five, six hours being on. Um, it was this one particular night, the owner of the club asked me to uh, work. And I worked from, because it was both jobs. Um, I worked from Monday all the way to uh, Saturday. So Sundays were my actual days where, you know, I recuperated, got my body to rest, you know, get ready for the week. But he asked us to come in um, one particular night for a release party, which was a film. It's called Guns and Grants, which is my first project. Um, so, of course, I'm like, yeah, double the money. He's like, it's about 500 Come in. All you got to do is, you know, look over celebrities. I didn't know who the celebrities were. Right, right. He said it was a couple of celebrities coming in, you know, to look over. So, um, come in. The first person I recognize, I don't know if you guys remember, um, The Wire. Yeah. Um, he played uh, Pootie, I think, but his name is Trey Chaney. Okay. DC um, Native. Mm -hmm. So, I'm yeah, looking at him. He's look, yeah, he's looking at me. And, of course, at that point in time, I didn't realize who he was. Mm -hmm. I'm, from my point of view, I'm thinking it's a album release party for somebody, you know, that raps. I oh, know it's a movie that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I, I, I can see that. Um, I go outside and, you know, I'm patting people down as they come in checking IDs. So, the, the two people that came in was um, Omar Gooden and Hassan Johnson. So, I'm saying to myself, okay, what the hell is this about? Right. Like, why, why are they here? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm in Milton. Now, Omar Gooden, that's Cuba Gooding's brother. Little, little brother. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, so they come down, pat them. So, of course, I got the puzzle look on my face. So they come in, and I'm like, well, like I said, what's going on? Right. So I stayed outside. I ain't paying it no mind. But, I, of course, I am curious. Like, these guys are here. I'm in the middle of the ghetto. Now, I don't know you guys know what Sugar Ray's are, but it's East yeah. Side on, on Middle. Right. The hood. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, shout out to it, Sugar Ray's. Yeah, shout out to Sugar Ray, my boy out there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So the director of the uh, film, Guns and Grams, Larry Dare, big out, shouts out to Big Bro for giving me my opportunity. He comes out and um, he's on the phone with Hollywood. Tears of Joy just letting, you know, pretty much with all the cast that he has coming onto the uh, the movie, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And finally that day, that particular day, it goes Hollywood. Hollywood wanted the movie. Wow. So, of course, a light bulb goes off in my head. I'm like, this is the opportunity. Mm -hmm. And see, at that time, I wanted to have my own security um, professional bodyguard services, you know, start off that way. So, of course, like I said, the, 
the light bulb went off in my head and um I approached him. And you know, I told him, you know, my name what my name was, and, you know, said how proud I was because he was crying tears of joy on the phone. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, I approached him and it was just like, you know, my name is Lamar Elliott, bro. You know, sorry I overheard, but you know, but congratulations and I'm proud of you. But I did let him know, I'm like, well, you don't have security going forward, do you? And he's like, nah. So I said, I slid him a business card. There you go. The guy that I was working with and um LinkedIn. We actually, yeah, we actually <laughs> linked it the next day, that Monday, and um the rest is history. My first set on there, I was and mind you, I'm only doing security. Right. Armed. Right. But you know, baton, pepper spray, right, my right. gun, handcuffs, all that. You know, four nine, ready to rock and roll with anybody. So if you say hot sauce and a stick. So he finally came to me one day and was like, um, he was like, I got this little part for you. I'm like, okay. To me, I, I felt like that was Hollywood talk. So I'm like, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. It is what it right. is. It is. But he's like, nah, I'm definitely serious. If, like, I'm, I'm just walking and walking by in the background. Exactly. I'm good. But right. I mean, at the end of the day, I, I didn't care. I'm like, right. I didn't know the whole look of how Hollywood was. Right. You get what I'm saying? So when somebody comes right. at you like, hey, I got a part for you, you look at them like, what? Right. So it was like, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So he gave me the script. And I'm like, you know, I'm making a joke. I'm like, I'm on, oh, snap, I'm going to be on somebody's red box of Netflix. Mm -hmm. Before Netflix and what it is now, and right. red box back then, you know, right. really wasn't too much of nothing. Back when Netflix was just Netflix and chill. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Netflix and chill, exactly. Right, right. So yeah, graduated. Exactly. So I'm like, yeah, I'm making jokes. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna be local, be famous. He like, nah, this is going to theaters. I'm like, what? Ah. I was like, theaters. Mm -hmm. Bro, I swear to you, you talking about somebody with the bubble guts and nervous, <laughs> and I had maybe about two, three sets. No pressure. It was nothing, no nothing serious. So I'm like, I'm like, you sure you want me to do it? He's like, yeah. So at that time, I go home. I'm like, man, I hope. I Fuck this up. Like <laughs> I had no experience. I never went to school with this. This was something never, you know, a million years. I thought I was gonna be a cop, man. Like, right. That, that exactly. was the you know, whole you know, direction we always had. Yeah, like I, I never thought about being an actor. Right. So leading up, our, our first my first scene was at the brick oven in downtown, Fells Point. Yeah. So leading up to the scene, um, I don't want to tell too much of the movie, but the Cecilia Mafia was actually meeting up together at, at that scene leading up to mine. So I'm sitting there watching it all transpire, and I got the bubble guts. Like, literally, I don't know if I had to shit, throw up, like, literally <laughs> nervous as all hell. Like, about to, so, I, had a, I broke out of the poor sweat, sweat right. all that. So I'm right. just like, man, over three lines, are you serious? <laughs> so it finally came to my scene, and uh, I nailed it. He was like, man, he was like, have you ever done this before? I was just like, no. <laughs> but had the energy and was just like, yeah, like, I want to do some more. And at that time, like, he was already towards the end of the movie, and he was just adding me and seeing, 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 seeing. So, you know, not, not to get too much of the movie, but there is, it's a three-part series. And right, now, right. I'm actually going to well, be headlining this. Um, now, I've heard a lot of actors say, you know, and this is a lot of experience that I've heard, you know, like that, um, Danny DeVito and a couple of other actors say, they've always remembered the first set of lines that they've ever said in a movie. You, so uh, it's one of those things that don't ever go away. Those, so I guess those three lines would what I guess would always freeze motherfucker don't move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. Right, right, right. Yeah. But they said it, you know, they always remember their first set of lines. Yeah, that it, that, that's something that, like I said to this day. Right, right. 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 I'll get that tatted somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, being though, they've already been in law enforcement for so long. So right, it was right. Just like, yeah, perfect. So you but know. I wasn't thinking about that. Like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I just don't want to Freeze motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so. Now you yep. sound too much like Samuel Jackson. We had a <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it, it was dope. Like I said, man, and now, like, this is a dream come true, man. Right. Like, this is a blessing. Like right, I said. Right. Now, I understood from Savannah that it's not just movies you're also in. You oh, also do a little bit of modeling. A little bit of modeling, a little bit of right, radio right, person. Right, so, right. I actually yeah, had my own radio you. show yeah. at, at one point. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it, it was. Um, Radio on Fire, uh, called okay. the Wrap Up. We were on every Saturday. So. Yeah, man, you're the only one on, on, on the set to hit your, your own radio show. Say that again? I said, you're probably the only one. He's the own radio show. No. <laughs> <laughs> we all, we all right. kind of dabbled in radio, right? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> every Saturday at 4, four o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Ever yeah. since yeah. you started, mm -hmm. all right, you know, changing, uh, going from uh, law enforcement to uh, Hollywood acting, mm -hmm. have your circle changed. Absolutely. And Very I, small. As far as those to support you with. I, I tell you this, being in this business, um, 
And, and in the beginning, I'm not gonna lie to you, you had a lot of people like, eh, whatever. Right, right. You know what I mean? Even still now to this point, it, it's still kind of shaky where you're looking like, like you still need the safety. Yeah, bro. but but North now, college, it, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. more now <laughs> that people that. see it, and 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 then especially with this young lady right here, yep. I'm having my back, my manager right here, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. how she's pushing for me. People are like now, like damn, it's real. So right, it's just like right, right. You know, and then the projects that I am in, mm -hmm. you know, the unwilling redemption, um, yeah. enslaved, and guns and grams. So it's just like people now, like, hey, uh, you, and I'm like, look. <laughs> Because you already have one, uh, uh, I think, uh, movie already on Amazon. 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 And right. Tubi. Right. Yeah. Right. Which I think, is the I redemption. Think I did look at that one. I think I did look at that one. And um, I think I saw it on your Facebook or something like that where I saw it. Yeah. And I was like, yo, and I take him out. Shouts and, out to uh, Antonio Jefferson, Love yeah. Star. Another dude that gave me my opportunity. Right. And believed in me. So I, said, I, I had to check this out. That. I had to check this out. I know this guy was mobile driving me around all the time. <laughs> so Starting that happens. Out. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. So he said, uh, this is your manager. Yeah. Well, let me let me slide over here. Let <laughs> 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 me slide over here. This, this, this is that metro I know. Okay. So, so, why did you select her as a manager? I already seen what she had going on as far as her production and how hard she works. You know, I, I can see her taking my, my career to the next level. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I work at Lick Speaks for itself. Speaks for itself. So if we don't see you on anything else after the day, <laughs> <laughs> oh nah, that you might want to sip your tea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Yeah, that, that's, that's a, that's a, oh nah, but it, it, it's about to happen. No, I'm about to fuck this industry up. That's Excuse right. my language. No, 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 we like it. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It is not good. being cocky. It's, it's right. just my work ethic. I love what I do. It, that's that's just a simple nine to five is cool, but. Being in front of the camera, being broke, sacrificing, and doing what I got to do. That's all worth it. The good thing, it's a dream that a lot of, and a lot of people have, that, that, that you get, you finally get to live your dream. I'm proud of you, bro. Bro, listen, <laughs> definitely. I appreciate the blessing. Still a journey. It's still a lot of, it, I ain't there yet. It's still a lot of work to do, but you know, it's, to quote, it's definitely. To quote my man, Kevin Hart, a lot of people want to be famous. Ain't nobody trying to put the work Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Big shout out to Kevin. <laughs> you don't you don't make the money right then and there. Of course, right. a lot of people, it's the Instagram, the Facebook, they they want the local fan. I'm not with all that. Right, like, that's right. cute stuff. That's yeah. a cute stuff. Right. Let me right. put this work in. Let me get dirty. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. They don't realize you got a lot of hot days. You got a lot of long hours. You still put in a lot more work. Shit. And you know? got a lot of motherfucking bills that's behind that you got to exactly. pay too. Like, exactly. Look, I'm I'm scruffy. I'm I'm humming it. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> But it, I mean, it is what it is. Though. Like I said, you got to put the work in. It's mm -hmm. going to come. Mm -hmm. It's just the manager being patient and sacrificing. And like I said, it, a lot of dedication. A lot of right, dedication. Right. Like I said, a lot of people ain't rocking with you. A lot of people don't believe. You know, you, it ain't even about proving those wrongs, but, you know, believing in yourself. Right. That'll bring everybody else around. Like, yeah, he's he doing it. So, well, we appreciate you being on the show. I, um, you know, it's, it, it's our show is basically, we just... We walk the razor's edge a lot, a lot on our topics. Well, I tell so. y'all this, cause look at this. <laughs> in the next year, multi-millionaires stay, and you know what? Keep the same look. We got got y'all studio. Yeah, no, yeah I love yeah, the look. Yeah, keep, yeah, keep, yeah. keep the look. Yeah, shout out to the, um, Ms. Herman, my wife, for our studio. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, the, and the good water. Yeah. <laughs> Brought to you by child support. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay, it's about child support. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Child support. Uh, I, 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 I gotta ask this question. Mm -hmm. um, because this first time you're on, you've been right. a phenomenal young man. I can feel your energy. Um, so I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm saying I'm not gonna ask you. I'm saying it to you. <laughs> ask you this. Uh, it's hard to be a manager. You seem like you got a lot of energy. You, you like to move. You like to keep moving. But I believe as long as you're moving your feet, you're going to get there. Right. Absolutely. Your manager mm -hmm. is a pain in the ass. No, because, not right now. Because I no. know sometimes uh, actors, you know, just uh, extremely gifted people can be a handful. Right. So me right now, no. I think because we have a, a, a different type of relationship as far as manager. We're friends also. Gotcha. So when one thing I like about him is when he talk about everything, he always talk about us. He don't say I, I, I. Mm -hmm. He always talk mm -hmm. about we're going to make it, we're going to do we want to do that, you know. Mm -hmm. So, um, for me, I just feel like um, our relationship is different. So, no, it's not a pain in the butt yet. 
I said it can't elope it. I thought because you know, Drew Hill and their manager 20 years, they were friends and they wind up <laughs> getting beat up in the pool. <laughs> right. And I looked yeah. at that, but I think that if you try to keep um, communication open, um, it'll work. And you got to learn that you got to agree to disagree. Right. You right. Know? Absolutely. And my thing is, my biggest thing is, um, of course, I want to be successful for myself, but I work hard for other people to make them successful because that's my thing. Like, I want him to win, I want him to be on top. You know, it's more so when I work, I mean, I work more so for him, you know, so that's how it is for me. So when I get up, it's about me. It's about him. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's right. That's the right. drive. That's, that's the push. Let's get out there and support our black actors, people. Get out there and support them. I've been doing this thing. Our local actors. Everything you said, I, I believe you. And I enjoyed it so much. You hear the things you said? I'm working for him. Mm -hmm. I'm what? You said something about being on top? Yeah. Yeah. All that stuff. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's what I knew it was coming. Hey. You know, let me hey, tell you listen, this listen, why. Look. I knew it was coming. Punch my eyes off. Wow. I knew wow. it was coming. Wow. All right. <laughs> um, so we just want to move on to another topic real fast. And I mean, everybody's been waiting for us to address this topic. COVID-19. Um, it's it's, like it's, a Call of Duty game. I right? know it does sound like a Call of Duty game. It's been wreaking the nation, the world. Um, we've heard from all over about, you know, um, if, I mean, if we could bring the virus here as a guest, I probably wouldn't because I really got a whole bunch of questions. It's probably ask. here right now. Right. right. <laughs> been around it, so. Yeah. You can take my cups out. But anyway. It, it's, it, um, it's, it's, right. So, I, the thing that tripped me out about it is, is that, um, I guess you know anything. Everything it seems to start overseas, right? Everything right, starts right. overseas. From what they say, from, yeah, from what they say. From what, from what they, they say. say. Now, yeah, you know, as you say that, I'm wondering that, like, if you ever, you know, the Chinese people, the Chinese people sitting in China going, "Yeah, over in America, they started this virus." You, 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 you got to blame somebody, right? You got to blame, blame somebody. somebody. My concern is this: mm -hmm. at forty-seven. Uh, we, have, we get this whole department in the government that protects us from uh, things like this, diseases like this, right? Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. have 47, I guess, rooms of individuals, you know, right. who are working to protect us from this. Trump come in, he shuts down 37 of them. 37 of them. Shout out to our boy Trump. Last year, 45. <laughs> last year, we okay. was we was uh, scared over a stronger strand of flu. They didn't give it a name. They just right. said a stronger strand of flu. We right. were scared of that. Right. Right. Something like oodles and noodles or something. Something stupid. Something <laughs> stupid. It's something real simple that was basic that we shouldn't have to worry about. Right. 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 But they didn't give it a name. Right. Got gotcha. you. A year later, we have uh, the coronavirus. Okay. Mm -hmm. And no one's talking about last year, but they're saying it's just the flu. It's just a stronger version of the flu. Right. They didn't give the flu for, uh, a name last year. They gave it a name this year mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. you take a look at how this has impacted us in uh in a month it was about february 12th february 15th when we yeah. started mm -hmm. uh picking up speed right okay mm -hmm. but we we seem to take this a little bit more serious than uh sars than the swine flu ebola ebola what 2014 and 2018 right mm -hmm. you know to the point where yeah, birth schools, birth flu. Yeah, schools are closed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, for two right. weeks here. Uh, you know, Jersey. It's bad. it's bad when the club closing now. And I said it. I said right. it. They say it's real bad, yeah. but if you still got strip clubs open, they can't be too concerned. Yep. Now you got people closing <laughs> right. clubs. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So it like lights all wiping them poles, man. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's crazy now. Now, like I said, you actually got action. We didn't have action before. We didn't, mm -hmm. and I think mm -hmm. we didn't need action. Mm -mm. We had a competent president in office at all times, at even all though time. we didn't care about right. Bush Jr., right? But he had people around him, right? You know, uh, same with um, uh, Bill Clinton, okay? Same with Ronald Reagan, because in the 80s, uh, that's when the AIDS epi epidemic hit, mm -hmm. right? Right, right. right. Uh, uh, Ebola with um, our boy Obama, right? All right. We get this president in office, and all of a sudden we got to shut schools down. Right. People are running out buying toilet paper mm -hmm. for, the, for, the, for the flu. Right, right. right. For the flu. Right. Like, well, 
dirty ass or something. Like, I'm still trying to figure that <laughs> out. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what's going on with the, the toilet paper. Yeah. If you got a shit that much, <laughs> <laughs> you need to be concerned about some other health issues. Yeah. I'm surprised nobody's selling ass as a weight loss, bro. <laughs> Like, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. You can look at our president and it, there's nowhere it says the symptoms like my diarrhea or something. Like no, not at all. Not at, it's, it's, it's just the flu. It's, it's just, just that like flu. people just get in a state of panic for nothing. Right. You know, me and my daughter was talking and I was like, you know, sometimes you have to prepare yourself for stuff like this. And people going through the stores, like she's calling me like, Ma, you're not getting, I'm like, no. Mm-mm. I'm going to go get the same amount of toilet paper. I'm going to go get the same amount of food. I'm not doing all that. I'm just not going to do all that. It's, right. it's ridiculous yeah. that everybody's running out here panicking like nothing is on the, in the stores. People fighting. Somebody called me and said, people fighting in the stores for toilet paper. Like, I'm really going to risk my life for some toilet paper. You can have it. You know, so it's like, you really need to um, think. Think about what's going on. It's always a bigger picture behind this. Oh, absolutely. It's always absolutely. a bigger picture. Absolutely. And we, and we too busy focusing on this picture. We, we're not even thinking about what's the bigger picture. Because after this, die down, watch. You're going to hear something else. Like you. And then the economy, they're telling us, you know, uh, it's going to be a problem in the economy. Eventually, the economy is going to uh, crash, it's going to fold. But why would it crash or fold? We're spending money like it's the Christmas Exactly. Exactly. exactly, right? Exactly. What was the budget for this? Like, two? The budget for this? It was like, I know it was something billion. I, I, it I'm was, not as far as the numbers. I couldn't tell you. I, I don't know what the budget is for this, but I, know I do it was billions know of dollars, when so. the Dow crashed last week. And it went down, uh, but crashed like trillions of dollars. The government gave them a couple trillion to make up for it. Mm-hmm. Right, though, we was backed up like trillions of dollars. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm just. <laughs> yeah. So, it, you know, it, it's it's one of those things. It's like you see the lines at Walmart, you see the lines at all these stores. Right. People are spending four, five, six, seven hundred dollars. And this ain't just in Baltimore, this is all over the country. Right. Yeah. You know? We shouldn't be hurting for money, you know, as far as our, our economy. You know, I want to hear people, uh, oh, now we got to uh, start laying people off. Why? Why? There's no need. People are still spending money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And people mm-hmm. are still working. They send right. people home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. of technology, people can work from home. Mm-hmm. I walked into a lady today where we work, and she found a corner. She right. a corner by herself, so we pretty much isolated. Right. And she's holding classes. Wow. She's holding classes, mm-hmm. and, I, and I hear her talking to them. I couldn't hear them. She had a piece on. Right. So but people are still working. Classes. Yeah, she's right. still conducting classes. Yep. People are still working. Money is still being born. I'm still trying to convince our people that we don't need to come in. We just I, I'm, I was about to home. say the same thing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> robots or something. Right, like right. This is out of control. We, we, out and, of control. And, and we could probably do it. We've had where, you know, people had to go to the bathroom. We had the manpower. We, you know, go ahead, go to the bathroom. We'll watch it from the camera. Right. <laughs> exactly. Hey, but, you know, that's how we've done it. Um, now, they, they say this virus comes from China, right? Right. That's now, been let, let me ask you guys this. Because mm-hmm. I was at work the other day, and we had, you know, Asia come in. And we said, hey, you all right? She was like, oh, I don't know. I'm not feeling too good. Uh-oh. So everybody, of course, you got to do the screen and x-ray, mm-hmm. and all right, that. Right, right. So I'm like, if this lady even so much sneezed the wrong way, I'm going to knock her. I'm not going to ask. <laughs> like, like, nobody's trying to catch this. Like, what right. do you mean you're not feeling right. good? And you came to work, like right. I'm like, man, look, not not today. And I said, I, this is not the thing I'm trying to leave this earth from. Exactly. Come on, man. Right. Hear, hear what you're saying, right? Hear what you're saying, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I know me. I've had plenty of one night stands with women. I know I had no business being with <laughs> and didn't have a problem, and was not thinking about dying. Okay, right. right. At the time, yeah. Right. At the, at the, I was right. thinking about having a good time. Yeah. What were you thinking about afterwards? Mm-hmm. Oh, please don't let this girl be <laughs> pregnant. Right. Right. Please right. don't let her be pregnant. Ain't and, and it crazy how, how what we find it important and, and a threat to our lives? Right. Yeah. Yes. Not, not shorty who's been dancing up on everybody. You've been looking at the club that night. But the flu, mm-hmm. uh, the coronavirus, she got yeah. herpes, yeah. anything. Right. Don't even know. Don't even care. And you want to go on that joint raw, dog. It's Absolutely. It's yeah. Not even make it back to the house. In the parking lot, right. exactly. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna right. do it. No, no, no protection. Right. That's what we. Yeah. What, that's what, right. It's, it's crazy what we find important when it comes to our safety. Right. Exactly. You know what I mean. Exactly. It, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. We was. All, it was all funny until the French black man on the Utah Jazz got it. 
And it wasn't too funny. All fun and games. Then Donovan right. Mitchell got it's like yeah. cause he's a real yeah. right. he's a real black man. I'm like, wait, man, then we black people can't get it. Yeah, so I'm saying to myself, I'm right. like, man, niggas don't get shit like that. Right, right. right. You know what I'm saying? You got melanin in your in, in your system, that's it. You ain't getting it there. Yeah, right. Don't you believe that? Right. <laughs> right. Like, Mitchell, I said. They've talked about, you know, it was mostly the older people with the, you know, the immune system. A twenty year old get it. Right. But but yet I've seen younger people with it. You know what I mean? And it, didn't they say it was it Tom Hanks and his wife? Mm-hmm. They, they, they now, tested positive. Is Charles Barkley? Did he? Did they confirm that he had it yet? Because he was know. saying he was ill, but I, I'm not quite sure if he came back with the results yet. Right. right. He's a Republican, so if he get it, he'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You ain't never like that. You ain't never but like that. I, I want to read this that off. Right. Okay. No problem. No problem. In 2009, we had the swine flu problem. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. 22 million Americans were affected. 4,000. Right now, we are at the point with um, this situation. We we we're not that bad. It's not looking like it's going to be a problem. We got thirty three hundred cases. We got sixty three deaths. We got fifty nine recovered. Okay, um, three thousand one hundred ninety seven of those thirty three hundred cases are mild conditions. Okay, mild conditions. We only have um, 122 cases that are serious. Now, how many deaths did you say? I'm going to say I said 63. 63. 63 deaths. So far. Is that um, worldwide? Nation United States. States. Okay. All right, United States. Now, the regular flu, we got over 46,000 deaths. Mm-hmm. So, that's why I'm with you on this. There's yeah. something behind this. Mm-hmm. It, it is. is. Let me ask, do you really believe those numbers? Because I, I, I said to myself, like, 63 deaths. I'm like, damn, can we go to a funeral where we know somebody died from that shit? Because I just feel like they're just throwing out numbers. It's, it's, like, it's, hey. it's, it's one of the things where if it doesn't, if, if, if I guess if it doesn't happen to somebody real, somebody real in your life, right. who do you know have it? Exactly. It's one of the I things where... I see somebody on Facebook, one of my friends, right. say they have it or a family member. Has so it, I have, it, it, won't, hit, it won't hit until... Like, oh, wait a minute, my grandmother had it. You know, exactly. Like that, you know. They said that someone, a nurse at Hopkins, um, got it. Right, they did say that. Um, so y'all should go into shutdown then, right? Like, if, if that's the case, if a nurse has it. <laughs> well, I saw, but see, we only have one confirmed case in Baltimore City. Right. Of an individual having it. Well, with Baltimore City, we never know what the... <laughs> I think it is way more different <laughs> than the coronavirus. This is all types of shit running around and there. That's, and that's why I see all the... Uh, the tents going up, and, right, right. You know, trying to help people figure out if they got it or not. And we're the number one city in the in America for STDs. Yeah. I don't see y'all that. popping up gonorrhea tents. Let me say though, remember when you were talking about how um, about the children and um, them closing down schools? Mm-hmm. Well, somebody must have heard you talking about the children getting fed and stuff yep, like that. Yeah, yep. yeah. I'm talking about the same thing. And, and, and kudos to to Baltimore City. Because you know them, them kids, that's the only meal they get. Right. Sometimes mm-hmm. they get that breakfast, mm-hmm. they get that mm-hmm. lunch, and uh, thankfully they're actually sending care packages um, home with them, so they can still come to the school. Oh wow! Well, well it's actually mm-hmm. fifteen. I'm not not all the schools. Uh-huh. But there's about fifteen or seventeen locations they can come get something to eat and actually take some food home. Right. Um, and and it's for the parents too. So right. that's a good thing. That's a good thing. You gotta look out. Uh, I need to look for that. Why you doing my dance? <laughs> <laughs> I swing by and say, I'm picking up something for the kids. Yeah. Right. And you know what was funny about that? When I was younger and I did celebrate holidays, on Thanksgiving, my father used to always go missing. And I used to be like, Mom, why we always got to wait for Dad to come home? He'd be like, man, he at them shelters getting food. And I'm like, what? And we would have a big old spread, and this fool out here in line getting food with the whole Hey, hey, hey. And provide. And provide. And provide. And provide. And provide. And provide. And Negative. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. I had cousins. I had cousins. Um, uh, before they would come to grandma's house, go to Big Daddy's and eat. Right. Weren't homeless. Had thousands of dollars in their pocket. They were slinging <laughs> weed in the eighties, and would still go to Big Daddy's and eat. And, and then come to grandma's house. That's right. That's right. Y'all should be ashamed of yourself. You know. Burned. Yes, <laughs> some people just have a, a you know. A different way of different way of getting things, things up. <laughs> right, right. Right, right. Uh, but you know, our country, our country is known for outbreaks. Right. Um, so I wanted to do some research, and actually, it goes all the way back, of course, to the 14, 1500s. But I didn't want to go that far back, so I went to nineteen eleven, 
when we had the uh, Cholera disease that was outbreak uh, in that infection in the intestines. For my, for my country? Uh, no, it was, it was actually, it's actually here. That was here. Okay. That's not like a second Yeah, it is. Then, cho, cho, who? Then you have, uh, of course, we have the second measles outbreak. So who? Second, second measles. measles. Oh, what you say? Suck it. <laughs> okay, what are we doing now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. They, they that Tracy McGrady like, <laughs> what's going on over there? <laughs> yeah. You have your HIV, of course, and your AIDS. Right. And you had, 80s, right? Yeah. 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 And you had, uh, um, diseases as far as outbreaks throughout the USA. Um, I don't understand. You got SARS in 04. Right. You know, you had uh, the avian flu in 08. You had MERS in 2012. You know, and of course, like I said, the Ebola and, uh, and uh, 16 Zika. I just don't get it. Why is everybody, you know, it's, it's kind of crazy. Like, like we've been saying, you don't know anybody that have it. I haven't seen it posted. Like you said, I'm strongly. I believe there's something behind. It. Yeah, there's mm-hmm. mm-hmm. something behind. It, but I, I'm, I'm really, because it's crazy. Because out of all those viruses, I still don't know anybody who can caught either one of the viruses. Even the, the young girl that died from um, the swine flu, right? It turned out that she didn't have swine flu. Mm-hmm. Shout out Hicks. What's up? And, uh, turned out she didn't even have swine <laughs> flu. So, I, like you said, the numbers. I don't really believe the numbers. I'm how do we know they died from it? If you know, where the hell did they come up with? Names like, oh, I'm gonna give it to Ebola. I'm gonna give it to oh, the, the they, screwed, they screwed Corona big time. Yeah, like, yeah, I wouldn't even. This sales went down. Right, right. <laughs> they screwed the now you see Somebody, corona guy, somebody like, say that, you know, Lysol is who started this whole virus. But like, the Lysol is it sales on the back, the coronavirus. coronavirus. And, and I was like, how many years ago that's been on there? Coronavirus been around. They said it was a new virus, but it, it wasn't new because apparently it's been on the back of, um, yeah. The dag, the, the dag on camera. So that's just sounding like, well, it's something that they, we created. And yep. they trying to say it came from China. I'm like, man, look. I mean, even if it did, did come from China, it's, you know, scientists is all over the earth, all over the See, world. See, but it's easy to believe because, right. I mean, every have, probably even this coffee cup right. says made in China. Right. And they <laughs> share everything, you know. Everything says mm-hmm. made in China, you know what I mean? So if they did, you know, you had scientists there. You know, they're very intelligent. They are, they are. They make up everything. Mm-hmm. You know, so I was watching this other thing online, and this guy was talking about. He's like, "Bam, bam, fam, you know, no, they, this is, you guys ain't don't know, but um, this flu is a flu, and they weaponized it. They weaponized the flu, mm-hmm. and it's supposed to attack all." Of, and I'm like, "What? <laughs> weaponized? Flu? But you, but you know, you never know. Exactly, you never know. You seen the movie Contagion, right, 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 right. and, and uh, yeah. these other movies. You, you never know. Yeah, you never know. Right. They had a journalist go under." Over in a wet market, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, wet market is a place where they, you know, have like here we slaughter animals, place like that. But they have animals, but they have you know, all those exotic animals, bats, right. uh, mm-hmm. rats, cobras, and stuff like that. And um, you know, they believe it's you know, it's derived from you know, derived from a bat, or right. whatever. But you know, they shut down twenty thousand wet market, but you still got seventeen thousand. Uh, Illegal wet marks, all of them are illegal, right? But the ones that are still functioning are the ones uh ran by mob bosses, uh, underworld, uh, low drug lords, stuff like that. They know about them, but they can't shut them down, right? right? And you know, it's kind of like, well, they're not going to shut them down because if this is how you make your money over there, you know, this is this is big business for them, right? Yeah, you know, um, the was it the doctor or scientist over there that wanted to speak out on it, mm-hmm. China. All of a sudden, you know, mysteriously uh, died. Yeah, you know the, the the doctor that supposedly discovered it. Yeah, yeah you know, um, but uh, uh, I believe this is something that they, we already know about. Because if you study animals, and if it comes from animals, then you already know what these animals had. Right, right. right. You know, the, mm-hmm. but chimpanzees carry the uh, HIV for us. It's the SIV in them. Mm-hmm. You right. Know, we we right. already know this. Mm-hmm. Our scientists, everybody, our health officials, they know this. So. They said he got a cure, but of course the cure won't be available or ready, supposedly for 18 months. This is, this is stuff that they already know. That's why, like I said, there's a plan behind mm-hmm. this. Right. There's a plan right. behind What disturbs me is, is that everybody breaking their neck for this flu, this flu that, that, you know, the numbers that they're giving us, they're really not affecting us, okay? If you got people dying from the regular flu, 46,000, you know, you only got like, I hate to say, you got well under 100 here. I, I want to ask this question uh, to our officials. Right. 
Michigan. What's going on with Flint, Michigan? They still mm-hmm. ain't got clean water. Right. Right. That's been like that for forever. Yeah, that's right. You, that's you right. dropped what two tr- almost two trillion dollars last week for the stock market, and all you need is four hundred million dollars, and you can take care of Flint. Yeah. Right. Right. So it just goes to show who they really care about and where they really want to spend this mm-hmm. money. Mm-hmm. And that's a big, big problem. And that's why I'm glad we're going to speak on who's running for mayor in Baltimore City, you know, for our city. Because none of them, if y'all listen to any uh, of their, uh, what do you call them? Campaign. Home, uh, or, 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 hometown, yeah, yeah. whatever. So by whatever. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no one is talking about the flu. No, no. They're not talking right. about the flu. They're not talking about the flu at all. They just want, they're constantly talking about the crime in our city, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and it's, and it's mm-hmm. horrible. But right. I hate to break the news. We've been over 290 to 325 murders a year since 93. Right. Exactly. So yeah, but right now, the flu is a big thing. This is COVID-19, but the, the crime is really big. In yeah. Baltimore. Yeah. In Baltimore, yeah, yeah. 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 But why is it big in Baltimore now? Right. We had smoke. We had shaking. You know, we done went through it with them. Right. But that seems to be what only anybody want to talk about. No one's talking about this. You know, what we're going to do for is uh, the Rex and Park. Rex and Parks are the biggest crooks here in Baltimore City. Right. The biggest I, crooks. I, I just feel like politics in Baltimore, period. It really yep. just don't settle right. Like, mm-hmm. until we get the politics together in, in Baltimore, then I feel like it would be a, a positive change throughout the city. But mm-hmm. we don't got the right people in politics to control these streets out here to, to really bring, you know, unite with the city and the community and with everybody. Because it, it takes a village to raise a child. Like, exactly. exactly. The, the, what we got in, in office right now is, is ridiculous, and I think it's a joke. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And to me... My, Shout out to you, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> to me, my votes, I, I, I was, just wouldn't. I was looking at something, I can't remember his name. Mm-hmm. And I, I downloaded it, but it's a um, it's a guy. I can't think of his name, but he did a little video, and the video um, it was kind of embarrassing because I'm like, everybody in the, in the video is speaking broken English, right, and everything, and I cannot think this guy. What's the name name of this guy? But it was like, so this is your video. This is your camp your campaign. No, you said broken English. You mean like Baltimore slang? Yes, yes, Good. yes. Right. And they walking down you. the alley, and it's so female. Well, and I was like, I don't even understand the whole concept of this. And I'm like, so are you trying to run for mayor? Like it's ridiculous. What do you look like? I can't think of his name. I can run off some names if you want me to. I mean, yeah, yeah, run off some names. He says a guy. Yeah, it's a black guy. Young guy. Uh, he might be in his forties, early fifties. T.J. Smith. No, 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 no. A T.J. It's a, um, T.J. was the spoke. He was a spokesperson for right. Baltimore City. Yeah, no, he was like some. I want. I ain't gonna call him a drug dealer, but somebody that was on the street. Mister Stokely. Yeah. Him. You talking about Stokely? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Wow. I, I had given the first, but <laughs> <laughs> you're talking about uh, Stoke. I need my time off, Givens. Don't pay attention to him. <laughs> Stokely. Yeah. 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 Give Did us you your see that video that I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't see the video. Yeah, I'm, 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 video. Let me tell you something. So, well, we check it out. About a month ago, I had to go pay um, uh, uh, some tickets that I got on the car for the food on my stuff. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, so that, I, I'm at the, it's on the weekend. Right. So I'm at this place or whatever, you, you turn your boot in or whatever, you right, know, right. but they have them all closed up for one, they need to sit on the ticket. So there's another guy there, and he's trying to do the same thing, so um, he didn't have too much gas in the car he was in. I said, well, you can get it with me, we'll go to the next two locations or whatever. So we drive him around, right. we get to talk, and he's actually a friend of Stoke. And he's telling me about it, he's telling me about it, and I'm looking at the dude. And you can see this dude, you know what I'm saying, is one of them guys who um, probably done whatever he wanted to do his whole life and then found some inspiration and now he's on a, a better path. So he's going on talking, talk, talking. Talk. And so this will happen. We exchange information. He got an Instagram Instagram page. So I'm on it. Right. And I'm looking at it. And I, I, it wasn't a video that you saw, but I know what you're saying because I'm watching the video and the people and they're talking and mannerisms and all that. You know, he, he's like, uh, he would be the mayor running like he would be the uh, i'm not saying he wouldn't be a, a good mayor but he would be a mayor for um all those who live on north Ashford. Mm. like if you lived out in the county even though you were black faded right i gotta make sure right. I, I get the people on north adam north avenue where they need to be 
And I, I don't know the man personally. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Cause he had the young lady, remember the young lady with the rods, and she went out there to get her son, mm -hmm. and she was that she he had her on there, and I'm just like wow, like this is interesting. It is like it, no sir, yeah, wow. yeah. You cannot do that. He, right, this right. This is not what we're gonna bring our city. You know, he have his own people yes. around him leading him, helping him to to run. He doesn't have anybody that uh, I guess have that form of uh, education and training to to guide him. And let them know, like, man, look, you can interview her, but we're going to do snippets. Right. You know, because, you know, you know. But shout out to her. Her son, you have, uh, did get a full ride out to a school in California. Oh, okay. And good. he's doing, and he's doing uh, really good. good, really good. Um, I'm looking at, uh, uh, you got a few people. Mm -hmm. Like I said, TJ, we mentioned TJ Smith. I like TJ Smith. I think he's a, a wonderful spokesperson. I, I got tired of seeing him on my. TV every night. Mm -hmm. uh, Mine was on uh, Facebook Live. Facebook Live. Mm -hmm. So every time a situation happened, they pop up. Okay. Um, With all the crimes, though. I think I think if he would have ran or been trying to run after the death of was his brother, mm -hmm. I think the murder of his brother, I think he would would have had a better following. I think by him taking some taking a leave of absence, falling back, and probably getting everything lined up, and us not seeing him. Is the reason why he's 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 behind. Right. I'm surprised Sheila Dixon is one. Andre, say, what you surprised. Say? Hey, let me tell you, a couple years ago, everybody know RL is a Sheila Dixon fan. <laughs> I love some gift card and Sheila yeah, Dixon. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> love her. I love her. Yeah. It was her boyfriend fault. I'm with you, Sheila. I'm <laughs> riding with you. A few years later, I just and then she she ran uh, tried to run again. Yeah. She ran against Miss mm -hmm. Pew. Yeah, she I'm scared for these mares. Like it's like whatever <laughs> you touch, you just you never know. But it, but this and this is the thing. Remember last year the Anna or was the uh, uh, news lady Mindy something mm -hmm. got yeah. fired for saying what she said. That's right. Yeah, she yeah. spoke the truth. Right. There you go. Uh, we might need. I hate to say it. We don't need a fourth black woman as mayor. Is it just look? You you got okay. Fool me once. <laughs> right. All right, you know what I'm saying? Come right, on now, come right, on now, right, and, right. and that's bad to say that. And I'm a black man, but it's the truth. Uh, we might need to, you know, go a different direction, and before we try that again, you know, because uh, Sheila's situation, it is what it is. I felt bad for her because it was they, they were giving to her. She didn't steal them. That's right. They were giving to her, and I just felt like that was a setup. Right? Yeah, damn right, because you know O'Malley yeah. just completely fell out the picture. You know, he didn't even have them back. Then you talk about Rawlings. And I saw Rawlings at least two, three times a year. And I'm gonna tell you now, that that chick was bad, man. She stayed dressed, twenty five hundred dollar outfits. You the maid, you go over San Francisco, you stay for two weeks. Right. You supposed to just go over there and eat some of their fine food and <laughs> come back. And then you get Miss Catherine Pugh. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, she, I mean, she, I ain't never known for anybody to get in trouble for slinging educational books. Right. Right. But she got in trouble for slinging educational books. That's right. You know, and I understand why, but I, I just thought that was really petty. It'd be different if she was investing in, like, right. you know. The next man might get in trouble for selling dinners. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. The sides. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I just, it, that's, that's just crazy. But, Everybody got a little hustle. Yeah. Hustle. You, and, you, and you should. Right. You should. You, you're the mayor. Yeah. Hey, you make less than the uh, police with the police commissioner. Hey, it's Baltimore culture. Side hustle is Baltimore culture. <laughs> what is O'Malley got? O'Malley has gotten away with everything. Mm -hmm. O'Malley is, and, and the thing is, I didn't always feel this way about O'Malley because just, you could see O'Malley every Friday right. on Bel Air Road. He used to go to a little restaurant on Bel Air and Parkside. And mm -hmm. you would think he was mad at the people because he used to live, he didn't live too far from me, but don't walk. Right, 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 right. But right. so when he became governor, mm -hmm. all his stuff came out. I was like, yo, you was behind everything. You was. You one of the main figures behind the wire. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You was one of the corrupt individuals. Y'all yeah. <laughs> yeah. want to hang Sheila, right? Mm -hmm. So you know, you as, as long as uh, you stay in politics, like you say, yo, your, your dirt will come out. The dirt will come out. My man, um, Darbo, I ain't gonna pronounce his last name. The lawyer. Mm -hmm. right. I was, I was feeling him. Right. Feeling him. That I, I seen was in a, in a hotel room. With an undercover chick who, you know, he's spilling his guts to my wife. I don't really care for you know that chick. She lazy. Yeah. I need someone to be, you know. I want to stand on the head, do tricks. 
you know, <laughs> and I, doing cocaine or something crazy right. he was doing. Um, Davis never learned. Yeah, you know, <laughs> but I'm gonna be honest with you. Barry and Barry did all that stuff. That's what I'm saying. Right. 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 And the people love him. Mm -hmm. yes. The mm -hmm. man is gone, and Mo, Mo, Mo still talking about him. <laughs> he gave all all the children had jobs. Right. Mm -hmm. Everybody was working. He yeah, he he got high. He chased prostitutes. He did what he did. But he did his job. And I think sometimes we kind of get away from that. Yeah. You know, I don't really care what you do in your Perfect. your spare time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But can you do the job? Right. At the end of the day, can you do the job? That's all That's all I want you to do. Just do your job. Right. Do your job. We haven't had a mayor uh, in a very long time to do the job. We got a young guy by the name of Brandon Scott. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Like Brandon Scott. Mm -hmm. Right. Came through for me a couple times. <laughs> I hate, I hate to say this, dog, but I'm just not yet. I just, I'm just, I can't, I can't see Brandon Scott as my mayor at his age. I don't think he have enough experience. Um, I don't know. The name Brandon Scott is sound like one, like a football player. It, it does, but I don't see him tackling any of the issues. <laughs> I, think that. I just don't like right now. I, we, we really, we, we have about seven, eight people running. We got uh, Mary something running. Mm -hmm. She was part of the Obama administration. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. You know, is she a white girl? Right? She older, older, older white, older white girl. Uh, <laughs> and um, I was actually the town hall I was watching was with her and TJ, and I just was not impressed with her either. Right. I just was not impressed, and, and I'm, it's just one of them things. We don't have anybody running that I would want to run. Me personally, I want someone like me. I want someone who paid child support. I want someone who may have had one or two marriages. Right. I want someone who been through life experiences in Baltimore City, mm -hmm. went to college but didn't finish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or thought about going. Or thought about <laughs> thought about going, but still get up every day and, and make work. it happen. Right. Make it work. Have people that love them, support them. I don't care if it's a man or woman, or you know whatever the. LGBTQ community come up with next. Mm -hmm. It'd be it'd trisexual. Mm -hmm. Anybody, as long as this individual is going to work for, for the good of our city, mm -hmm. and if you work for the good of our city, I believe you'll be a better person. Right. right. You shouldn't claim to be a better person trying to bring something to a city. Gotcha. What you do should make you better. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. everybody that wants to be mayor, they, they have not said anything that's appealing. Well, right, I, I right, feel like right. they get caught into other bull the other bullshit that has nothing to do with, you know, the reason why they're running. Right. So it, it's just like they lose track. Mm -hmm. Because of course, you know, mm -hmm. once you become married, you got a in your ear. Yeah. Of yeah. course. So it's you just do. like, well, this would need to really be done. Forget that. Right. Right. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. And it's right, just like, right. come on, man. And like, some I think I, I, and I'm kind of piggybacking off what you're saying. A lot of them you know as okay i'm running and this is what my i, I want to do but then you have this person who's an advisor who's like i've advised such and such for 20 some years and that, that, that. <laughs> so you tend to go with what this fool is saying mm -hmm. but and then sometimes lose traction you gave your word to these people right and, and, right that's another thing mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. your word is your bond like, exactly on, exactly and a lot of people were falling from that like mm -hmm. all you have is your word so at the end of the day it's just like man i voted for you because you we said you were going to do X, Y, Z. Right. And it hasn't right. been done yet. Yep. And all you can do is give me a bunch of reasons of why I didn't get it done yet. And it's, it's coming. It's on its way. And it's right. like, right, on. right. Shout out to Ryan Dorsey, who ain't done shit <laughs> in my area. <laughs> you know, I'm being serious. Ryan Dorsey is one of those individuals you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Three, four years ago, he came around, walked mm -hmm. around, mm -hmm. knocked on our door, came mm -hmm. out porch twice, drank my water, you know, shook my talking and everything. Right. What he's going to do. And didn't do it. So last year in April, we had a opening day for Northwood baseball. Right. Shout out to my man, Mike Martin. And I, I told everybody, I said, when I see dude, I'm going to catch him. <laughs> they thought I was joking. Right. I had him cornered over there by third base. And, I'm <laughs> and I was talking to him. And I'm just like, you know what? You, you said you were going to come around more. You said you were going to do this, this. And man, I ain't seen you since that summer. Mm -hmm. Right. And all he kept saying was, you're right. I, you know, I'm just so busy, but there's no no excuse. Blah, blah, blah. Now, mind you, the whole time he's talking to me, this fool is looking over his shoulder at the tree behind him. At the right, like, so he's like, I'm sorry, I just got I got my bike over there. 
just gonna keep an eye on her. So I let my bike out one time and it's already got stolen. You know the area bad. <laughs> and you still don't come out. That's why you need to keep it work. Like exactly. Just, and, and help out. Right. And help out. And he and, and he just he's piss poor. He doesn't care about the other districts around him. Because the first one of the things he said to her, well, Ramon, that's that's not my area. I said, but it's trickling into your area. We had a car chase not even a year ago on Hamilton. Right. But that's not my I can't do anything about you you know who that is. You can work with them. The man is lazy. The man is lazy and the I was he think I the man accepted forty thousand dollars about two months ago from this pharmaceutical company. This pharmaceutical company is the same company, um, I guess that uh, support or uh, I guess they fund these um, addiction places, like the right. one that's on North Avenue. Yeah, right. They're trying to bring one up the street, right here on White Avenue, Hartford and Myers. We've been fighting to keep the rural farms from there. They're gonna try to bring one right there. You got a library right there. You got a school down the street. And he took money from them. And he said, no, 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 just because I took money from them doesn't mean that I support what they're going to do. But if you took money, money from them, right. like you feel, you're you obligated. Right. You ain't going to get that exactly. money back. Exactly. Oh, yeah, shout out to Ryan Dorsey for being a pawn. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, it, it's just, like I said, it's sad. I'm with you. The whole city council sucks right now. I, I just feel like as a people, I, I, I know with my vision, you know, later on is to actually come back and help a person with a dream. You know, you, you got right. so many kids out here that mm -hmm. have dreams, but exactly. they're shattered because another person that had that dream, it, it's, a, it's a cycle. Right. Somebody destroyed your dream, so guess what? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. What was the uh, young rapper that got murdered on the Hoffman Road? Uh, Scooter. 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 Exactly. Scooter. That, and, and he was coming from Morgan doing a charity event. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, a yeah. setup. Right. right. You know, it, it, Sad. It is. It's, re it's the ridiculous. The jealousy is real out there. Have they found somebody? Have they found the somebody? Jealousy is real. No. Nah. And his manager got hit the well, next week. Yeah, the following week. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of people. A lot of people. Manager, a lot of people. Manager, hey, you know look, we ain't from. living in no type of the way. Right. We stay out the way. Right. 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 No smoke. A lot of people look where you come from. Hey, look, like, you know, they're looking at Lamont right now. They're like, Lamont, yeah, yeah, man. You was just a, a little guy running around, you know, you know. You know, you wouldn't use the word happy and run around on a little thing, and, you know, you talk shit to you. He becomes a celebrity, he's on the red carpet and shit now. And I was like, man, you ain't shit. Man. I don't right, get that. Right, right. I just don't Come get on, that. man. You always got to bring people down. And, 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 and the, the, how know. I look at it. Right. Misery loves company. Right. So, and now that, regardless. Jealousy. Yes, yeah, that's who. Jealousy, man. But the, it's, it it's, it's, it's a thing with me where I laugh at. I right, never take right. it personal. And, but the thing about it, they don't understand that you put in that work behind it. Of course. It. It, 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 it's like, okay, I got here. Like, for example, I was outside, I, I, you know, doing what I'm doing, the mobile and stuff like that. Right. You know, I put it in, I became a supervisor. My All my peers, like, you know, at, at that time was like, well, they pick you? And I'm like, they didn't just pick me. They, you know, how you get it? I said, well, did you apply? No. But then you can't even get it then. You ain't even apply with that. Right. Don't come talk shit to me. You didn't even try. It, it, with, with me, they didn't just give it to me. I had to put in. I said Hopkins a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I ain't been out there in a in very minute, right. long time, so to see all that has transpired, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was like, damn. Like when I was here, it was a lot of dirt. Right, you know, right. vacancies is is crazy. Like I learned a lot from Hopkins. Yeah, yeah. Even putting did. it into my work now, mm -hmm. me acting, I, that that's that's my roots. I'll never forget where I come from. Right. You know what exactly, I'm saying? Like exactly. that that made me the man I am today. Right. Like you, you make you make a lot of connects, a lot of um you meet a, a cohort, you meet a lot of good people down there, you know, um, that, that that can, you know, will help you in different aspects of your life. You learn how to deal with various people from all over the world, yeah. actually. Absolutely. You know, and it, it, it's pretty neat. Um and you learn because you tend to mess up a lot. Absolutely. But should <laughs> fire. Right. Mess up, but then you learn from that and it applies to you later on in life and you're like, yo, you know, if if it was a it was bad then, but now I know how to deal with stuff like yeah. that. Right. Absolutely. Or what I would what expect yeah. from my staff or you know what I mean. Because you get around people that's that's now that's like I, I call them tight nose, they got their nose in the game. Yeah. Like, 
damn, you ain't really been through shit. Exactly. Like, like you ain't mm. been through nothing. Nah, you you ain't gonna be. Right. <laughs> so let me let me ask you. Because men we seem to get things going, think it's great, mess it up. Yeah. So I'm I'm a, I, I pretty much I think men have messed up city council. Let's, let's be honest, let's be honest. Right. What would you like to say as far as uh being a woman, not just a black woman, but being a woman. Uh, when it comes to leadership uh, in the public eye, how would you like for your leader to be? Would you prefer to have another woman uh, or another man or do it doesn't matter to you? It doesn't matter to me if it's a man or a woman. I just want somebody that's more, excuse me, <clears throat> good Lord. I want somebody that's going to go out there and do <laughs> Thank you. There you go. <laughs> Sip on that straw. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> That's the devil right there. He don't want you to say what you got. Right. To say. <laughs> I, just want, I just want somebody that's gonna get out there and put in the work and do the job and, and do what they say they're gonna do. Right. I want to see somebody that's gonna if they're gonna be out there that's gonna build more schools. Right. That's gonna have more education for the children. Mm-hmm. I want them to open up back up recreation centers for the children. Right. You right, know, right. um, more things for our children because they are future. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. we can't get nowhere. At, I mean, the old heads we're done out. Mm-hmm. So we need the young ones to come up and take place, stand, you know, stand in the place that we are. So I want somebody that's going to be about that word. It don't matter if it's a man or woman, Chinese, I don't care. Just do your job. Do what you say you want to do. Put in the work. Go out there and be with the people. You say you want to be out, out there with the people, then do that. Right. You know, come to the neighborhood. Because mm-hmm. our neighborhoods are dying. Right. And it was a shame that somebody from other cities had to come in and help our neighborhoods out. Clean up. You know? Oh, that was I just couldn't even, right, yeah. I couldn't believe yeah. that. So I just want somebody that's going to Put in the work. Right. Make the effort. And it's, it's a lot of talent, bro. It it's is. A lot it is. of talent. Baltimore is low. I never knew how much talent Baltimore has. Mm-hmm. It's, I mean, from our sports, music, mm-hmm. yep. film, mm-hmm. you know, it it's is. just political. Like, it's right. a lot of talent here. Yeah. It's a lot of hidden talent. Mm-hmm. And we don't get the recognition. And even for those that do get the recognition, and, but they leave. Right. You can't be ashamed of you. This is where you come yeah, from. from. This is your roots. Right. Right. So Jada Pinkett. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, Jada, you got um, fresh. What's that? Fresh web. Mm. He's coming up now. Mm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then at first, at one time, Jada used to really rep Baltimore. Yeah. Yep. Just... I, I think she still does. It's just, just she's got other projects, but I think she still she still from what they say, a million miles Baltimore. away. Yeah. No, yeah. a million dollars away. Yeah. Right. I mean, and you, you know, got what, she... uh, Mario. That saying Mario. Mm-hmm. I think, he, oh, yeah. I think he still lives here. I think he, he lives. No, he's actually in Cali. Oh, okay. He's okay. Cali. I, I think um, his family's like, still here. Yeah, right. right. Um, I actually had a, the privilege to meet his sister. She's okay. very talented. But right. She's the type, right. like, don't you tell Mario's my brother. Like, I want to make it on my own. Type got you. So, got you. But got she's a very talented woman. Mm-hmm. Really use that, uh, that man's name? Yeah, so. <laughs> use that man's name? <laughs> <laughs> you know, certain people you got to connect, and it's just like, nah, I, I want to do it my way. Right, right. right. I will, you go I will, that I will you throw your in. name out. I'm, I'm about to sling your name, sir. <laughs> sling it like crack back in the 80s. Right, right. Hey, like, man. Come on. Hey, man, I'm going to set with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. went to do the movies and let me do his security uh, business. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, y'all know Jada Pinkin had put some money by Charm City Kings. The, the new movie yep, that's coming yep. up. Yep. She did. Mitch Miller's in there. Shout out to Mitch Miller. Yeah. Chino Braxton. Yep. There's, there's I'm, a lot of those I'm, guys. I'm, so. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I mean, and, and that's a good thing. I yeah. like that. But we got a lot of black creative minds trying to put things together here that don't have the money. Right. They yeah, right. have the right. money. Right. You know and and, and you, you're probably exposed to a lot of that because you've well, got. I actually play background. See, right, so, and, see. It, and it's crazy because a lot of my my colleagues, there's a lot of actors that would say right, that, right, upcoming actors mm-hmm. that was in there, and I was just like, I would never do this shit again. Right, right. Like, but but babe, what what he was talking about is a lot of talented yeah uh, producers and directors and stuff like that. Trying to get needs. things started here, but, but the thing I the, the thing I can just tell him what, what what and people have been saying this for so long. I think mm-hmm. we need to come together. Yeah, but yeah. but here's the thing. Yeah. Here here's where the problem lives. We got too many people with this. The, the egos, right? Yeah. And, ego, and, and I'm right. entitled to do this. I'm be the head. Doctor. Everybody plays their part. I, I think it works out phenomenal. But right, right. You you got a lot of people with egos, and, and that's what it fails every time. So until we learn to really work together and, and move as a unit, 
we're going to have this problem every time. Right. Probably, right, right. LA is going to always be LA. New York is going to always be New York. ATL is going to always be ATL. Until Baltimore, and I don't even want to say Baltimore, DMV. Mm-hmm. DC too. I think that's what we need. You need somebody like a, a let's let's I'll just use Jada. We need like a Jada Pinkett to pull it together, like like to sit down and go, you know what? Let me see if I can get all the directors out there. Yeah. Boom, 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 in Baltimore. Get them all together. The best. Let's do it. Right. Let's put in the work. Right. Let's let, let's get the, you know a project going, and 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 I'm gonna use all my local folks and see what we can get going. Because again, there's so many people out there that don't don't have the opportunity. And that's what it is. All we need is that opportunity. But they talented. They, they can do this. They can do that. Take a look at Boss Man, Shem Trees, mm-hmm. Japiro. Yeah. yeah, a lot of dudes that was just killing it over the last twenty years, and they just couldn't get up, get to where they needed to be. Yep. But I agree with you wholeheartedly. We got to come together. That's why I like working with these two. We all have, you know, for us to be doing this show together. Mm-hmm. You know, I hope a lot of people may not know. You know, he got training spike. Yep. He got savvy events. And I, I I run Royal Legends. You know, I have my own show. He got his own um, oh, radio you. station. She had her, her own um, creative <laughs> talent yep. agency. Thing going thing going and on. Other yep. things. We all know. got our own thing going on. Yeah, yep. so, but to be able to come together and to do this and not trip over... Uh, who got more who, going who got more, more, who's who, better? Who, and see, that's right, the thing. Right, Everybody right, wants right, to be right. the man and nobody wants to put in the work. Again, they want to see what the job is. Like, hard. If everybody owns their own weight. Things will be exactly, so much easier, exactly. Right? exactly. That's just the times that and, we're living in. And, and my thing is, if it, you know, if if I could, from where I'm sitting, I'm, if, but if I can use my platform to promote these guys, promote you guys, hey, I'm, 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 I'm going to do it. That's right. what I'm going to do. Right. I'm prom- Push it out there, you know, exactly. and and that's what you know where where we're at. Like he always talks about my station every time. Right. I went on his radio show, and right. the first thing off the bat, we promoted you know my station. Right. Um. You know, same with Savvy Events. Every time I see everything she posts, you know, Three Spice and Family reposting mm-hmm. all the time, right. and that's what we got to do with each other. You got to start throwing stuff out there. My demographic of uh, uh my demographic of people. You know, or, or, or who follows me or on my stage, my Trinity Spice stage, and the Caribbean people and stuff like that. They don't know about that savvy events. But guess what? Somebody out of the millions might be like, hey, wait a minute. That sounds like something good. I might want to get on board with that. Exactly. You know what I mean? And it only takes one word of mouth, and right. the next thing you know, people are talking but, about it. And then I, I'm, it, me not posting something from her is me making this the decision for these millions of people hey, you don't need that. Exactly. You know what I mean? And I, who are you to tell who are me to make that decision exactly. for? I just got to put it out there. Whoever wants to grab it, go ahead and grab yeah. it. You know what I mean? It's the same with your thing. And this, it's all about blessing someone else. Exactly. I'm not even right. trying to get into the right. religious part. Right. But right. it's just, no, you're you, know, right. you know what you're I'm right. saying? You're right. Mm-hmm. That ain't going to stop you promoting her or vice versa. It's not going to stop your business. You no, just exactly. you just elevated your business to a whole nother level. No, exactly. Because you got a lot of people now. I, and I've seen it firsthand. Mm-hmm. I know with me, I have no problem promoting somebody else or giving big ups right. or congratulating right. them. Right. At the end of the day, that's mm-hmm. not that's not stopping what Lamont what got going mean, on. Exactly. I'm still grinding. Right. You feel what I'm right. saying? But right. I've seen it where you it'd be an award show where everybody looked like and I'm just like, damn, is it that serious? Right. Because they did a, a great film. Mm-hmm. And that's I'm not even, and that's stopping you from actually getting to that Hollywood platform. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, we got about five more minutes in the in the broadcast. So I just want to make sure we um we, on track. we stay on track. <laughs> we stay on track. We don't want to try to make it too long. But we want to thank everybody for watching. You know, we appreciate y'all watching us every week. Uh, we try our best to put it together every week. We got um, child support to pay. Yes, we got child support. Y'all put that over. Child, child support. <laughs> right. I, 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 She's I, collecting child support. No, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, but I we, all, we, all, we all make a, we, we, all of us, we make a conscious effort to try to get together to do one of these shows for you guys so that you guys can see. But we know a lot of people out there Yo, man, I'm waiting for the next show. I'm waiting for the next show. Hey, we we, we, we try our best. Um, we do late stuff. We shut it down now. I got to go to work later, but um, I do what we got we got to do. Um, want to big up Mr. Lamont Elliott for I joining us. You Thank guys. you, brother, for coming on the show. Oh, also, y'all can, yeah. I'm about to go put in my plug real quick. Y'all can follow me on Facebook, Lamont Elliott, and on Instagram is business underscore 622. Look out for my next two projects, which is the unwilling... Mm-hmm. TV series Unwilling and um, 
the horror film um, Enslaved. So, you know, yeah. definitely still working. Still got a lot more projects to come. Hey, man, those that's been supporting me, I definitely appreciate it. Definitely appreciate all we'll of post, If you look at our YouTube channel, I put most of his information on the bottom. Uh, you'll see all that stuff on the writing on the bottom. Um, what you got going on, Miss Savvy Events? I have a show coming up in right. November the 14th. It's called Savvy's House. It's mm -hmm. all about lust, sex, all that. So you want to... So me. Yeah. <laughs> so me. So me. I think that's what we do the next show. Up, so you know what? So uh, you know we're gonna give you more information as we go. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. So we have um Ramon just closed off the show for us. Um, I just want to thank everybody here. Thank right. You know, right. Good show. Appreciate everyone here. Um, I don't have anything coming up with Royal Legend. I ain't gonna sit here and lie to you. I'll see you this week though. I will do an uh, hour broadcast on Tuesday. Uh, speak on some more ignorant topics and I'm gonna give my best <laughs> view on it. Right, you right. Said something, you said something that they got me early, you know, and we've been saying it for like hundreds of years. The children are our future. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and I think they are, but I believe this is the time we're living in where uh, I think I really believe it's the adults because the, the poor mentoring that these children are getting, mm -hmm. uh, the lack of leadership and mm -hmm. direction. Um, Dwayne Wade, for instance, you know, hey, look, I don't judge anybody, but uh, men are supposed to teach their boys to be men. Exactly. And so, so, and, and that's not uh, a shot at uh, the no. alphabet community, right? But it is what it is, you know, that's what we're supposed to be. Men, we lead, and we're supposed to lead our young men into the right direction, you know, into wife be the shirts and not. Plaid skirts. So, with that being said, you know, Wayne, uh, brash, he's brash. Mr. Uh, uh, PRS one. PRS one. <laughs> what you at? Um, well, you know, I, I just want to say, uh, Trinity Spice FM. You know, tune in. We're on Alexa. Um, we're also on tune in. Uh, we're on what else? We're on. Um, uh, we have our own app. You go to uh, download the app. It's free. iOS. Um. Or I um Google Play, um, and as for this show, yeah, just um like and subscribe, you know. and, and, and As he said it last week, man, don't be lazy. Like and subscribe. Oh, ah, don't it's be free. lazy. It's free. It don't cost you anything. Um, Come on, y'all. Right. Ain't doing nothing anyway. We got a Not challenge for y'all. We we need to get uh, at least a hundred subscribers before we before we can go at least live on uh, YouTube. So let's let's try to get it. Y'all like the show. Yep. Give us this. Give, give this to us, please. Thank every you. every male hood subscriber will receive a free pack of new ports and a forty ounce of O E. And for all my ladies sitting at home receiving food snacks and other stuff, check us out. Support. Yeah. If you click on uh, the like and the subscribe, I promise you an extra fifteen hundred next year tax refund. <laughs> all right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Right. Goodbye, TV. Peace. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you